Hi, I'm Detective Jamie with Gotham City Police Department and today we're going to be investigating Gotham's most famous vigilante. the unboxing and as you could see the package came in two boxes so now we're going to start the assembly. I'm going to start with around the belt and these just go in magnetically nice and easy. And now we're going to do his arms. So we'll start with his right arm, his left arm I should say. Just like that. And now his left arm. Right arm. <laughs> you can hold my hand for a second while I do this. So we're just going to cover those holes, those gaps. Now we're going to put the shoulder pads on. So first on his right, just like that. Now on his left, we'll put his left shoulder pad on. So it just slots in easily like that. Perfect. Now we're going to put his cape on. So a nice velvet cape. His left, again just this piece, it just slots in like that, holding the cape in place. So now we're going to do the blades on the gauntlet. So we'll start with the bottom of his right arm. Just slot in like that, nice and easy. And now the top, which will just mirror the bottom. Three top, three bottom. And now the other side. Start with the bottom first. And 
then again, marrying the top. And now lastly, we're just going to put this mask. Just like that. So now we can release his hair. Beautiful. So that's the end of our assembly of our vigilante. So we did receive a few other things as well. So we have the certificate of authenticity, the instruction manual and the maintenance manual. And this is the first time that Infinity have done an actual holder for the certificate of authenticity. So that's great um, and we really like that. And we also have some maintenance tools and the power cable for the base, but unfortunately the cable is quite short, so we're going to have to plug it into an extension cable, and we'll show you in a second. You'll also need an adapter if you are in Australia, as this won't plug into the Australian power ports. So I've already got an adapter down here, and she's on, and now we'll just plug in that man. And then there's an on button just at the back there as well. So the statue we're analysing today is from Infinity Studios. Infinity Studios is based in China and is one of the biggest brands in the high-end collectible market. So they're renowned for their one-to-one to one-to-seven statues and they're all officially licensed. They do a range of movies and video games such as DC Cinematic Universe, World of Warcraft, Lord of the Rings and so on. But they're most renowned for their one-to-one -one life size statues from movies, for example, our Batman here from the Dark Knight trilogy. So our statue here is from Infinity Studios and it is a one-to-one -one life size replica of Bruce Wayne played by Christian Bale in The Dark Knight Rises, which was a 2012 film. Uh, we had 500 units of this statue made worldwide and the recommended retail price is 6,500 Australian dollars which includes freight and tax at the time of pre-order. So the dimensions of this statue we have the width of 66 centimetres, a height of 91 centimetres and a depth of 63 centimetres. And it did come in two boxes as you have seen which weighed about 30 kilos each. So first let's analyse the head. So we've got some high temperature fibres both on top of his head and then that also is in, used for the eyebrows and for the moustache and the facial hair and these are all inserted individually into the skin so by hand and the skin is made out of high grade silicon, medical grade silicon. You can see we even have some wrinkles along the skin so along the forehead and also around the mouth. Now if you look under his eyes, you can see there is some slight discoloration of the skin which is actually quite accurate. So you can see blood vessels and it reflects actual skin of Christian Bale. We also, not forgetting his hairline as well, it also reflects Christian Bale so his hairline shape is very accurate. And then if you go into his eyes, the colour of his eyes is this greenly, hazily colour, which is Christian Bale's actual eye colour as well. And the mole as well next to his right eye is also distinct of Christian Bale. We also have quite dry lips, but you can see the detailing of that dry lips and the little creases. And then we also have a very natural ear shape and a nose shape as well on Christian Bale here as well. So let's analyse the bat suit. So the bat suit is made out of polystone. You can see all across here, all these top pieces. And we have replica carbon fibre here on his breastplate and you can see the detailing underneath the transparent pieces. And then we come down to the Kevlar arms on the bat suit. And we've got the gauntlet with the blades that we set up before. And then the detailing in the gloves as well. Also the leather and Kevlar. 
So the skin to the bat suit is a nice transition between the silicon and the polystone. Then you're coming down to the cape, we've got a nice velvet cape. And then we can't forget the bat mask, which is also made out of polystone. And you can put this on top of his head, but it sits quite nicely in his hands. So this is also a nice position. And finally, we can't forget the most important piece, which is the bat symbol on his chest here, also made out of polystone. So now going down to the base, we also have a nice polystone base. And you can see we have the bat symbol in the middle here as well, which also lights up. And the base replicates the Batmobile. So we have light up exhaust lights at the front as well. And then if we turn to the back of the statue, we do have an exhaust at the back here as well, replicating the back of the Batmobile. So it's time to analyze the pros and cons. So pros, overall the likeness is very, it really resembles Christian Bale. So we would say it has probably an 85 to 95% likeness. And the pose is fantastic, just a great presence overall with the bat suit. And we do like the light up feature on the base as well. So cons, we do find that the cable is quite short and too short to plug into the wall, so we had to use an extension. There is a downside of having the light up on the base and that it can be blocked by the mask if you do choose to pose it like that. And that while the likeness is 85 to 95%, this uh, statue comes from Infinity Studios and there is a statue also getting made by Quinn Studios for the same price which has a greater likeness to Christian Bale, but that is only just the top of the head and the shoulders. So if you do get greater value for money with the Infinity Studio statue as it is a larger model and you do have still 85 to 95% likeness. So overall, we'd probably give this an 8.5 out of 10. So that concludes the unboxing and analysis of our Batman statue by Infinity Studios today. And we'd also like to hear your thoughts comparing the Infinity Studios version to the Quen Studios version. So leave them in the comments below. We also have coming in the next few months, we have from Quen Studios, the police uniform Joker bust. And from Infinity Studios, we have the Zack Snyder dark suit Superman. So keep an eye out for those videos coming soon. But overall, I think this has been a fantastic statue. I personally love the resemblance to Christian Bale. The likeliness is uncanny. Um, the suit is really awesome. I think we've got, it just gives a really cool presence. It screams Batman. It seems really authentic and I just love this. I think it's really, really cool. So you know what to do. Like and subscribe the channel if you like what you see. Um, but that's all for us today. So thank you and we'll see you next time.